have a kiss for me at the nicest place in the world? Let's go. Uh, Are you kidding me right now? Rain! Freezing, come on. That is the most romantic view of our whole life. And look at here we are, and you won't even stop and give me a kiss. Let's go. <laughs> this, is, this is so crazy. Okay, but why was that filmed? This, so this is a project. We filmed, so we wanted to yeah. film it, right? Right. And so we wanted to film like the making of the album, just right. to document it, half for our saying, kids, yeah. half for us. But we just, we were there for two weeks. We we're like, we're going to film it all. And then we came back and you start editing and it's like, well, you can't just show, like there's a lot of great music in this documentary. So please. It's called? It's called I'm Going to Break Your Heart. Right. And it comes out, um, May it's coming 24th? out, yeah, May 24th or on something Crave. like that on Crave and, and iTunes and stuff. But we just felt like you can't show the context, especially when you're talking about collaboration, like how do we get to these songs? Right. And you see the songs being born on this island in this hotel room and, and recorded as well. But to take away like the professional stuff or the personal stuff, I mean, moments like that, the moments with Dr. John in our, in our like marriage coaching, it just, it, it would have been really kind of inauthentic and fall flat. I just wondered what you would have cut out if you left that in. <laughs> yeah. Like if that made the cut, were there really uncomfortable moments that you just vetoed out of it? No, they're all there. Right, yeah. But, all the but editing is interesting because a second too long of an awkward moment can, you know, really exacerbate awkward. But I, I want to add that anyone who's in this room that has remained in a very long coupling partnership <clears throat> knows that there can be long periods where you're like, and you are, you know, and it's, it, it can be challenging. We have three children. They were, we had three children in four years. Um, so it's, it's a very busy household. And um, I think um, on a personal level, it's for me, a lot of people are like, what is that? What are you doing with this movie? Like, this is crazy. And it's brave. Genius is great, but, but brave better. I don't think we need to be um, genius at everything. I think what we need to do is speak our truth and be brave, and that's how we grow, that's how we adapt, that's how we evolve. And So this is really exciting to me because um, I, I believe there's like this gap, right, in long-term partnerships where, oh, here's the wedding pictures, and then here's the divorce announcement. What happened in between, you know? And, and Rain and I are so committed. We love each other so much, and we just want to be great at that and be realistic. So um, it was really fun, actually, to be able to kind of melange all these, uh, these, these aspects, these layers of life. If you're freezing cold, who would have gone back for the kiss? Show of hands. Yeah, who have, man. Who, who would have gone back for the kiss? Leo, like none of them. TV Two people would have gone, gone, three guys would have gone back for the kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody That's else would have walked to the car. <laughs> I am completely fine with that scene. Even, <laughs> even today, yeah. Brain doesn't like, like to yeah, be cold. I hate you have cold. to know. Yeah. It was pretty cold. Oh my God. But it was warm in my arms, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Like, are you yeah. each other's muses? He's yeah. definitely mine. Yeah. No, yeah. I, oh, how am I going to answer that? Well, you know you are. Uh. I'm a solo artist. It's in all my music. Like, come on. You're in a You band. are my muse. Too, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my she, gosh. But it's she, okay, she absolutely is. Chantel, like I said, my life, I think, you know, as our, even though we got married kind of youngish, like we, it took a while to get to where we are now. We started that journey probably like 10 years ago when we started to go to, yeah. just to marriage coaching and, and just, you know, I grew up, I'm like first generation Italian. My dad came over when he was like eight years old. There wasn't a lot of feelings in my house growing up, yeah. you know? So, and Chantel is like the epitome of feelings. Like she feels like if she sees a, a dead butterfly, you know, which is incredible. And so Somebody laughed. Why? Yeah. What's wrong? With, you know. Um, so it's taken me. I just been on this journey, getting closer and closer to somewhere where where she exists and understanding that. And now that we're there, it, it is by far the the most like it's, it's the ultimate collaboration. When you like all of a sudden, it's everything. Everything we've everything we do in our life is now our collaboration. From from our family to kids to the music, obviously to our marriage. Um, to any of the, the, you know, the stuff we do with, with uh, humanitarian causes and charities. It's like, it's weird to think that we can't get away from each other because yeah. we do everything together, but it feels so 
um, fulfilling and creative. Rain and I were, uh, went to Darfur together during the genocide. We went to Sudan, and then uh, and I, I watched how much you cared and how much work you did. And then one day Chantel calls me and says, "Hey, can you do you want to go to this Polar Bears International thing up in you know Churchill, Manitoba?" But you played Rain and I off each other. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, "Rain, yeah, we've yes, got right. my ancestors I said no. from there." Yeah, so well, George going is going. There. Yeah, so finally I told George Rain was coming, and I told Rain George was coming. And, and, I, and I wasn't going to go, but she's like, well, Rain's coming. I'm like, well, I have to go then, right? And, and That was fun. That was and clever, baby. And your favorite um, animal is the iconic polar bear. The polar bear. I love the yeah. polar bear. But this, this commitment to, to social justice, or however you describe it, activism, that's been there pretty early in you. Yeah. Was it a part of who you were as children? I come from Manitoba, and everybody is kind of, it's, it's rough, you know, it's harsh, like, mm. people are, even if you're from a good part of town, you're still from the wrong side of the tracks kind of thing, is what I always say, and, and I love it, and people care about each other, and I can remember growing up and being at my dad's office, and, you know, Saturday would be the Kidney Foundation would walk in, and, you know, Sunday the Heart Foundation, and everybody was coming in and always asking my dad, and he, my dad would say, send them up to my office, and I always knew that there was something more important than my dad or his entrepreneurial successes and and that was just deeply seated in me since I was a child and also you know growing up um, like I said it was harsh my, my uncle was in a coma from from being in a motorcycle accident for seven years and every Wednesday I would drive far to see him with my mom and and the only thing that he could do that gave people hope that he was still there in this coma was was cry it was very sad and this was really a traumatizing part of my childhood, but important. And I knew all the nurses and doctors, and I watched my grandmother suffer. And Did you explain this to the guy in the elevator at the Clippers game? I don't talk about it, but there, there's a lot of Thank that. Thank God we got off on the seventh no, floor because it would have got there. There's a lot of that. You know, growing up in a, yeah. in a farm community, people get on their motorcycle, and no one, no one knows what happened. People get on their snowmobile, and no one knows what happened. Someone went through the ice. Like, there's just stories like this all the time in Manitoba. And I just think it's a place that people come from with a lot of compassion and sense of the human experience. And people often say, what's, what's in the water there? There's so much art and expression. And, and I think that, yeah. that when you have that kind of heart for, for life, uh, it naturally, when opportunities present themselves to be caring for people on a maybe more macro level, I think that it's, it's an obvious yes.